Okay, so the myth is, if a shark stops swimming, it dies. Right. The whole theory is that a shark needs to continue to move through the water so that way it can collect oxygen in its gills. Now, if he stops moving, he's going to die. Yeah, it's called ram ventilation, but I'm not sure if it's true of all sharks. <laughs> Let's find out. Ooh, that means we need to get in the water, huh? Exactly right, Tori. This web extra is one we've all heard. If a shark stops swimming, it'll suffocate and die. And while there are plenty of sharks out here, getting them to stay still is going to be a little tricky. All right, so the plan is we're going to go down to the bottom of the ocean and see if we can find a shark holding still. If we can't find one holding still, JP is going to actually grab onto one and keep it from moving. And I thought I was crazy. That's why expert shark wrangler J.P. Janassi is on the case. He'll make sure no sharks or hosts are harmed for this myth. There are a ton of sharks, and they're definitely swimming very, very quickly. The sharks are definitely not in the mood to chill. So it's over to J.P. for plan B. So how do you stop an eight-foot-long shark? Very carefully. Plan B is that JP is going to stop a shark for 30 seconds, and then if it swims away, this myth is busted. JP was trying to grab one, but they're not in the mood to stop. They're hungry. Over. He's got one by the tail right now. <laughs> Don't make them angry and then point them towards me. Damn! All in all, it's not going well. And JP's hands-on approach looks pretty painful. JP looks like he keeps checking for fingers. But eventually, he hits the sweet spot. He's got another one. He's scratching his nose, and he kind of puts him into a trance. Experts believe that tiny electrical signals from JP's hand interfere with the shark's senses, putting it into a catatonic state. Looks like he's got one right now. He's holding it still. It certainly is. In fact, it seems very relaxed. Oh my God, he's like JP's hypnotized with the shark. He's totally paralyzed. Yeah, that's exactly what we need for this myth. And it doesn't look like it's in any pain. And JP even manages to get the shark into a headstand. That's beautiful. That's amazing. It's the incredible balancing shark. JP, you are the shark whisperer. That's Miss Watson right there. The shark is holding still and he's just Eventually, after a lengthy pause, JP releases his grip, the shark wakes up, and... Yep, there it goes. That's been busted, all right. ...lives to swim another day. There you have it. Still shark, still breathing. In fact, most sharks have an opening above their gills called a spiracle. When at rest, this is used to pump water across their gills so they don't suffocate. Off he goes. Looks like he's 